What's good, YouTube? I remember last time I was going to tell you guys I was going to come with you guys with a real deck profile, a real meta deck profile. Uh, this is Dogmatica Invoked. It's complete to the brim. 40 card deck, 15 extra, 15 side. Um, yeah, I really wanted to make this deck for you guys to showcase you guys on my channel. Uh, this is amazing deck. Uh, it's really, really good. But we're going to get into it. I'm going to explain the cards for you guys. So for newcomers who don't know how to play the deck, I'm going to explain the cards for you. So you guys know what everything does and how everything interacts. So let's get into the 40 card deck. And so for the main deck, we play three Ecclesia. So what Ecclesia does is she searches all your Dogmatica cards and... All the all the Dogmatica cards say they cannot be destroyed by monsters with the extra from the extra deck. Uh, is I'm pretty sure it's by battle. Uh, she is your Rota. She's a fifteen hundred beater. Um, she'll gain fifty. She's fifteen fifteen. She um. No, she, the reason why she's good is because she can summon herself if you have a extra deck monster on the field. And so she pretty much just the um one thing I have realized a lot of times me and my friends play testing we've noticed um you can literally if you have a dead ash in your hand going first or or a dead card like too maybe too many hand traps and you have her you can normal summon the hand trap get into your almirage and then special summon her um if she's normal if she's normal or special she searches. So that's really good. It's an all way effect. Um, but this is your starter for the Dogmaticas. Then we play double Floor de Lis. Um, Floor de Lis just she can't be destroyed by battle with monsters of the extra deck. Uh, she's twenty five twenty five. She's also straight. She's a she's real good. Um, one good card that this deck is real good with is uh, Gizmek Uka because Uka can get you this card or this card if you're playing against lights because they're both 25-25, 15-15. I've noticed that, but with this deck, we don't really play Uka. Um, but other than that, what she does is she comes out, she can special summon herself, quick effect, during either player's turn. And she negates one monster effect. And then when your Dogmatica cards are making attacks, she boosts them up by 500 attack and defense. And that is a permanent boost. For you guys who do not know, that boost will not go away. That boost will never go away, even if she leaves the field. So she's really good. She's your big beater. She's pretty much your boss monster. And then we play Maximus. And what Maximus says is you, we can special summon him by banishing one fusion link XYZ or synchro from the graveyard. And we can dump two from our extra deck to the graveyard to pretty much make our plays and our u utility cards like Ents and um, Pegasus, Ignister Pegasus. Uh, usually Ignister Pegasus is good because if any of your cards get destroyed next turn, you can bounce something. But other than that, Maximus, Maximus, this is like, um, I almost want to say it's almost like having engages and hornets and then Kagaris. It's really, really good. The deck is so stable. The deck has no problems with anything, to be honest with you. The deck is really, really consistent as well. And what we mix it with is the invoked engine. So we have three Alistairs. I'm pretty sure you guys know what Alistair does already. He, uh, you can drop him to add a thousand. He's a pretty much an honest for your fusion monsters. And but he's not an honest, but he adds a thousand. And you can search if he's normal summoned. You can search inv invocation. Uh, for the hand traps, we got three Veilers, th Veilers, three Ash Blossoms. Ash Blossoms is great. Right now, she's great. She stops a lot of things. Needle Fiber. Uh, she's not good against Numeron. Against Numeron, she just flat out sucks. I want to take her out. 
playing against that deck. Uh, but for Numeron, we got the three Ghost Ogres, which is good. I'm glad that this hits Numeron Network, the field spell. And then we have double effect Veilers just for extra uh, effect negation. That's it for the monsters. For the spells, we have triple Called by the Graves. Now, Called by the Graves helps us, helps our plays go through. Helps the next three cards, the next six cards actually, allow them to go through. We play three Nadir Servants. These allow you to special. Uh, no, this allows. This is your Rota for your Dogmaticas. So pretty much you have a Rota. You have you have engages, and then you have more engages with Ecclesia. So that's real broken. Um, what is do what this does though is you dump one from the extra to search. And it locks you out your special your extra deck, so meaning you can't use your extra deck. But the good, th but the good thing about that is you're usually setting up on your opponent's turn. And uh, just a reminder: all the all these cards, all the monsters, they say after you use their effects, you can't special from the extra deck. Just for a wide reminder. So we play three Nadir servants. Um, it's a one card combo. This is why this card is really good because Ecclesia just searches everything and it just goes off. You just pretty much play this drop app cologne. After you get the app cologne, you get, after you drop app cologne, you get the Shadal Shism. After you get the Shadal Shism, you drop it to the graveyard. And then with the Ecclesia and maybe the Maximus, you can drop your, uh, construct and get it back. I'm going to, I'll show you guys that combo after the video. Um, next we have three triple tactics talents. These are, these cards are amazing. Like it has three options. It's a change of heart, a pot of, do, uh, pot of greed, and you can pluck one from their hand. Like it's just good, you know, like a delinquent duo It's just good. It's just a great card. And if they ash blossom you, your tactics is there for you to get, maybe get your draws or interact with any type of way on the field. Or on the board. Then for your field spells, you got your magical meltdowns for the invocations to search your Alistair, your invo invoke plays, the one terraforming to search the magical meltdowns, and then we have double invocations to summon your Macabas with Alistair. That's it for the spells. For the traps, it's real simple. We play triple infinite impermanence. Uh, you guys already know what this does. If it's set in a certain row, you can flip and negate the spell and a monster on the field. It negates the spell that the row that the row the infinite impermanences infinite impermanence is in. And this card is just real good. It's another hand trap, you know, going second or you know going first if you ever and it's there. It's just good to have in your hand. Usually you're setting it. Then we play triple solemn judgment. Solemn judgment's just good because solemn judgment just says no to monster spells and traps uh one dogmatica punishment what dogmatica punishment does is you can drop one from your extra deck to pop one card on the field and that's real good because if you don't have you know if you can't set up this will help you set up then we have the probably the best card in the deck is probably shadalshism because it's an instant window and um when you play it, you can send one monster on the field of the fusion summon monster that you had summons attribute. So you can send like a, if you summon window, you can send a dark attribute from their side of the field. Or if you summon construct, you can send a light attribute. This is why this card is really good because it's spot removal and it does not target. This does not target. It's broken. Um, for the extra deck, we are playing one titan clad. You don't really summon this guy. Usually the extra deck, in this extra deck, you usually summon the big boss monster summons like Winda and Makaba. You don't really summon him or, you know, you, you don't, he, he's your search. He's a Skarm at the end phase. You can search a Dogmatica card. You play one Ab Cologne. Uh, Ab Cologne is what starts your, searches your Shadal Shism and allows you to drop to the graveyard. You could discard one. Then you got your babies, the windows. She's just real good. It locks your opponent out from special summoning. Construct to get your Shadal Shism back from the graveyard. You drop this after you uh, 
you drop this with Maximus and maybe an Enst, and your like setup is like pretty superb. It's pr real, real good. And then you play one uh, Starving Venom for your plays, fusion plays. One Macabre. It's Macabre. I only play one. We got one Purgatrio. One uh, Algo Algodis, whatever, however you say it. And then Megalencia because of its, it's just a real big beater. Like, it's just real good. I've noticed the deck has a lot of, a lot of rough times getting over stuff. And if you have, if you have uh, Alistair in your hand and you summon this guy, he can get over anything almost. Um, one Almirage for the plays if you have your... Uh, if you have Ash Blossom in your hand and it's dead, you can just summon her Ecclesia and go off. Then uh, Alistair, if they... Ash Blossom, your Alistair. You can make Alistair get your invocation and go off. It's real good. Then we have your two uh, Ents. And what Ents does is it says when it goes to the graveyard, you can pop. So it's pretty much spot removal for the deck with Maximus. And this is when Pegasus at Ignister. He's really good because he uh, when he's in the graveyard, if something gets destroyed on your field, you can remove him from play to bounce something on your opponent's side of the field back to that deck or extra deck. So it's really, really good. It's pretty much a compulsion protection. That's it for the extra. For the side, we got triple ghost girl, spooky dog woods. Um, they're pretty good against needle fiber decks. If they want to give you all that health and all, all that all those life points, then you pretty much kill them afterwards. Pretty much ensures you that you have a couple more turns to go get off and stuff or make your plays. Three lancias. We got three crows. We got three super polys. Um, double evenly matches. I need a third one and one red reboot. So that's the deck, guys. Uh, a few changes I would make with the deck. I want to add a, Sh a Shadal Beast to the main deck because if you have, if you draw into Shism, it's pretty much dead. So it's pretty good if you like, you know, make your plays. Search your Shadal Beast. If you already have Shizm in your hand, send Shadal Beast to the graveyard, and it's another name. So pretty much, uh, yeah. Another another thing I want to make clear, you don't have to run three of her. You can run one of her. You can run two of her. She's just real good in the deck because she just searches. Your Nadir Servant is pretty much what starts it all. So if, if they ask your Nadir Servant and you have triple tactics and you find her off the top boom that's it your combo just goes off because all you need is maximus all you need is her and maximus and then you get your floor from the search with the titan clad but let me know what you guys think um subscribe leave a comment in the section below what you guys think about the deck uh if you guys like it you guys want me to do any other decks i could probably make some more decks i could probably play sky striker for you guys or like make sky strikers or some other stuff. I'm testing out Ancient Warriors right now. Ancient Warriors seems pretty good and a real big sleeper deck. Uh, it's you can go into Toad and stuff like that. It's 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 pretty ridiculous. But let me know what you guys think. Subscribe in the subscribe, like the video, and I will see y'all later.